Hey, this is John with Harp and Angle. Uh, I'm going to take you on a little journey inside Harry Cowan here and kind of show you what we've been doing since the uh, beginning of March and uh, give you kind of sneak peek inside look before it opens. So let's go and check it out. So here we are. This is Harry Cow. This is going to be the, the main bar area here for the tap room. We've got the tap handles back there behind the, the bar there. A nice big like circular eight foot in diameter Harry Cow sign that's uh, backlit LED. We talking about? It's giving me crap. And then we got uh, shelving on both left and right side with TVs inserted in there. And then. Uh, we're going to do a couple sliding ladders back and forth just to get up to the top to reach them because they're, they're quite tall. And then uh, you can't see probably on video, but we, we're going to paint like three brass light fixtures and kind of go over top of the shelving, kind of backlight them a little bit. It'll be three over each shelf. And then uh, we've got some big chandeliers right hanging in the middle. I've got a pendant on both the, the left and the right side of the bar, one directly in the middle. And then we've got these uh, little chandeliers about four foot in diameter once they're all put together but they got like these little like, brass ends on them they're kind of black you can see a picture here on uh, one side here you can see a little bit of like kind of the style of how it's going to look so those will go in here got some other uh can't it doesn't look like much yet but we have some uh soundproofing veneer wood that goes in between all the rafters and the rafters get painted black and then uh, we're gonna do a bunch of lighting from the, the left to the, the right side. And they're kind of like uh, staggered lighting. It's kind of all over the place, kind of a little more artsy. And obviously stones going on the chimney. We've got a 300 year old, uh, not 300 years, like 130 year old uh, wood mantle that we're gonna put right on the top of the stone there. So it's coming along, let's check it out. They're gonna get ready to pour the, the concrete pad for the patio. Back here laying the rebar, getting everything set up. I'm gonna hassle them a little bit. <laughs> Always not out here yet. Yeah, that's yeah, gonna be the patio. Kinda overlooks the river, so that's pretty neat. It's gonna be one heck of a view, that's for sure. Why yeah. am I not on the video? You look, this, look, look how you look like. What the heck, look dude? Look at all this paint. Well, I do all the dirty work. Well, I guess. Well, come on, let me. Be on the video. Should he be on the video? Hey, Gordo! Oh, it's just here, painting away like he always does. Why are you repainting the ceiling? They don't like it. They don't like the color? They don't like the color. So now they gotta paint it white, huh? White. 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 Let's check out the other one over here. This is the women's room. A little bit lighter, brighter, a little more, you know, I don't really know what to say about that. It's brighter and whiter. Working on installing the kitchen hood right now. This is uh, John Lambert's brewery. He's going to be in here making all the great beer for everyone to drink. I think it's an eight barrel system. I don't know much about them other than how to bring them in a building and set them in place. But. Oh, that'd be cool. We don't have uh, the lights in yet. Obviously, you can see our, our main distribution panel is missing some parts. But it should be here at some point. The RO system kind of going in here, water softener, things like that. Most of the pieces are up in the other room, but it's got a little bit of power to run. But other than that, it's power, baseboard, a little bit of trim around the window, and this, this room's done. So just punch list stuff. Most people buy uh, prefab coolers, but we wanted to make a custom one, make it a little bit bigger. We already had a mechanical platform upstairs, so we decided to, once we put all our joists in place, we just built the cooler based off of the structure that was holding up the next floor. So we got, it's about a nine inch, nine inch thick wall. Uh, there's 
bad insulation between the 2x4 studs, um, 2 inches of foam on both sides, 5 inches of drywall, and FRP all the way around. Got our uh, explosion proof lights, the vapor tight lights, so we don't have to worry about them blowing up and getting everywhere. But yeah, these are the, the holding tanks for, for all the beers. So that once John's done and the beer's all fermented, they'll come over to the holding tanks and that basically right where they'll serve them from, there for the majority of the beer. And then I'm sure the uh, other specialty beers and stuff will come out of smaller kegs. So. I think he needs to wear something nicer. Give me some. I mean, I'm, su I'm at least supporting like Where? a business that I don't I'm know. I'm supporting the place that gives me paint. I mean, that I have true. to pay for it. That you have to pay for. <laughs> they don't give anything out for free in this place. Not anymore. Not since <laughs> my friend left. They used to give us buckets. They now don't they do that charge anymore. Us. Now they charge us. Sure, we Williams, have to wait. This, this video is for you to yeah. give us some buckets for. Now we have to wait. Videos. Longer period of time before you can give us more free shirts, man. These don't last very long, as you can see. Anyways, this is uh, Robert, I'm John. Click the subscribe button below and the little bell icon to see uh, more videos of us as we post and yell and fight and argue, argue whatever but that at is. at the end of the day, I love we you love too, each man. other. I love you too, man. Yes. But thanks for watching the video. We'll uh, up, you date, up you date you some more. That's how you say that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> whatever he said. We'll update you <laughs> as this project goes on. All right, Thank see you. Pew. Mm -hmm.